Welcome to Sports Court. I'm Tamara Holder. Well, an Arizona high school football player is looking at the possibility of becoming a registered sex offender. And all because of a stupid, stupid prank. Hunter Osborne was booked on 69 counts of indecent exposure. One count for each of his teammates after he revealed his privates for the team photo. Osborne claims it was a dare, but uh, it's no laughing matter to the school and to the many high parents of this 3,400, 3,400 students at this high school who saw the photo in the yearbook. Uh, the name of the high school is Red Mountain High School, if you were inquiring. So joining me with his opinion on the case is attorney Dominic Romano. Welcome. Thank you. So... You said before, leave it to Arizona, right? Yeah, leave it to Arizona to make strange prosecutorial choices. What kind of a priority is this? Apparently, this went unnoticed. The picture was so small that it went unnoticed for weeks, months, I've heard. So why charge this kid with a class four felony where the presumptive sentence is two and a half years? Being 18 is about making dumb choices. Should he pay restitution? Yes. Should he be suspended or face other fines? Yes. Right. Should he be charged with 69 counts? I don't think so. Well, he could actually be charged with more if you think about it, because everybody that saw that photo, the 3,400 or whatever of his indecent exposure could potentially be victims. But I want to actually bring up to for our viewers the screen of what the district said, because they put out a statement. They said the district is dismayed by the actions of the students involved in the photograph. Their behavior does not reflect the values of Red Mountain High School or Mesa Public Schools. Upon learning of the photograph, school administration immediately contacted police and is cooperating fully with the investigation. Disciplinary action will follow policy and may be based on the outcome of the police investigation. The school district and the school and district are conducting an uh, investigation to determine what actions might have prevented the publication of the photograph so appropriate safeguards can be put in place going forward. While the small size, no pun intended, of the photograph as published makes the details difficult to discern, the yearbook has been recalled so the school can make a minor but critical edit for the inappropriate content. content. What a mouthful. Yeah. Look, all kidding aside, this was a bad decision, a stupid choice. He's admitted it. He's taken responsibility. He should pay for the change in the yearbook. You know, he should probably be suspended or fined, uh, and the school should take other remedial action. But come on. So this goes to a bigger question about the, is, is in legal words, in local locus parentis, right? Uh, you, the school steps in as the parent when the child is in school. So in this situation, why is the school reaching out to authorities? I mean, yes, it's technically a, a crime, but shouldn't they just punish the kid and, and resolve it internally? You know, that's an excellent question. I guess they're trying to flex their muscle and, and, and show their discipline, as it were. But, you know, it's a question. First of all, the, the act, there's no justification for what the kid did. He's admitted he's wrong. He was responding to a dare. But, you know, you have to question the school here. You're absolutely right. Is this the appropriate action to take with, in a situation like this? Because sex crimes are strict liability crimes, right? Yeah, you're ruining the kid's life, basically, right. in the, for, for a stupid prank. Right. If you are a certain age and you commit this crime, then you are a sex offender. There's no leniency. It's not like marijuana where you can reduce the amount of marijuana so it's a, a, a more lenient sentence, right? It would have been one thing if he had, say, other charges for indecent exposure before that or had maybe had some sort of criminal record. There was obviously no sexual intent. The intent was humor. A failed attempt at right. humor. So, come on. Well, we'll see what happens because they're still investigating. He was booked on the charges, but he hasn't been technically charged or formally charged. So we'll have you back for more. Thank you all for watching. We want to know what you think on the story. Let us know at foxnews.com. Sports Card is adjourned.